And at five, we told you how these temporary closures will affect people who are experiencing a mental health emergency and that it has advocates and law enforcement leaders very concerned. New at six, our Jake Burns spoke with current state Senator Cree Deeds, who knows very well the importance of treating mental health issues after his son suffered a mental health emergency that turned deadly. Jake? Yeah, Bill, Deed started working on this issue really in earnest following that situation with his son. He says that if anything, this crisis should show the public the need, the urgent need to address the challenges within the mental health services community in Virginia. We've made dramatic strides the last few years, but they simply aren't enough. Since losing his son during a mental health emergency seven years ago, State Senator Cree Deeds calls reforming Virginia's mental health services a life's work. So he unfortunately wasn't surprised when Virginia paused new admissions to five state-run psychiatric hospitals. We've been at crisis, a breaking point for a lot of months. This pandemic exacerbated every problem we had. And, and the reality is throughout the Commonwealth, we've had people in distress sitting in emergency rooms for days because there wasn't room for them in hospitals. Deed says the staffing and safety issues cited by behavioral health officials must be addressed by increasing worker pay and getting more mental health professionals in the job pipeline. We've been in this distress. We've been trying to figure a way out of it. Now we are forced to, we, our hand is forced. Some of the other things that were our priorities have to take a back seat to, to this. Both mental health advocacy groups and law enforcement worry halting new admissions to state mental health facilities will lead to families calling 911 when someone is in crisis. When that call to 911 is made, if they cannot get a bed, a hospital bed, then the options are either emergency room or jail, you know, depending on how the call comes in. And so the, the biggest thing is the pain that it's causing to the person who is sick, who truly needs hospital, hospitalized medical care and cannot get it. NAMI Virginia is pushing the Commonwealth to add more crisis stabilization units, which provide short-term treatment and support for someone in crisis. They will look to de-escalate the crisis and they will link them to additional services, whether that be community services or even if they need a longer hospital stay. We have to adopt one of those approaches in the, short, in the long run because I, I think that will take considerable stress off of our existing system. Bolstering mental health resources available in communities is work Deed says began years ago, but he says remains underfunded in many parts of the Commonwealth. This crisis, I think, is telling us or ought to be telling us, it's telling me certainly, that um, it's that we aren't we aren't phasing it in fast enough. State lawmakers will meet next month to decide what to do with funding from the American Rescue Plan. Deed says that he is certain that mental health services will be included in that plan. He says the pandemic has shown that the problems are big and they are clear.